Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit to this hat. It's a reversible baby hat that you can make for boys and girls. Now, the one that we're going to make in the tutorial is for babies between three and 12 months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn baby and up to three years old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Okay, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to knit this little hat, I'll be using these three millimeter knitting needles. Now, these are circular needles. These are like 32 inch. Um, if you want to use shorter needles, like 16 inch, and just knit the little hat in the round, that's fine. It's going to be easier. I'm going to be using the magic loop technique to knit the hat in the round. Now, the yarn that I'm using is this one here. It's Super Soft Baby Double Knit, James C. Brett. This is acrylic yarn. You can also use any number three yarn or a ply. Now, I have my little sample here for my sample um, all I did was I cast on 20 stitches and then I knit for about 22 rows or so so in about two inches here what I have is I have 19 rows and then I have 12.5 stitches across so that's my gauge in two inches it's 19 rows and then 12.5 stitches across so based on my gauge here I need to cast on a total of 92 stitches using these three millimeter uh, knitting needles so to do this this little hat is going to be uh, done a little bit differently I'm going to do this hat where it's double sided that means that we're going to knit the hat two times now the easiest way to cast on our stitches and begin here is by making a provisional cast on using some scrap yarn because eventually we're going to once we finish the hat um, we're going to have to do the other hat so we're going to come back to this area here and we're going to remove these stitches and then continue on the other side you'll see what i mean uh, once we get started so the first thing that we need to do is i used these 3.5 millimeter hook and some scrap yarn that I had that's really not close to the color that I'm going to be using because we want to be able to see the stitches so with this hook and this yarn I went ahead and did a total of 92 chains now to make a chain if you really don't know how it's very easy you just grab a hook um, maybe a three millimeter or 3.5 and all you do is just hold the yarn here and you grab a loop and do this like this grab a loop and do this. I think this is easy enough for a beginner to do even if you've never touched a crochet hook, you can easily do a chain like this. The important thing is that you do your chains. Once you have your chain, cut your yarn and pull this loop here. So bring this yarn through, cut your yarn, so bring it through like this and we're going to pull it like that. Now we're going to cast on our stitches on the back side of the chain. Each one of the chains equals one stitch. To begin, I'm going to insert my kneading needle here through this first chain. Now with the main color, you're going to grab a loop and you're going to pull it through this first chain through the back side. See, and you have your first stitch. Now go through the next chain through the back here. where I'm going through the back of the chain through that little bar back here and I'm just bringing this through like this and that's how I'm going to cast on a total of 92 stitches So one chain is one stitch here. Now I'm going to continue like this. And as you can see, I have my stitches here and along this side here, I have my scrap yarn. Now continue and cast on your 92 stitches and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished casting on my stitches. I have 92 stitches here. Now here at the end, this is where I cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop. I'm going to tie a little knot here because this is the side where I'm going to cut once we finish right here. This is where I'm going to just uh, cut or just um, undo this knot that I did here at the end. This is where we pass the yarn through this last loop 
and then we're going to remove these chains but we need to do that at the end so we don't need to worry about that right now so now what we need to do here like i said i'm going to knit to this little hat in the round using the magic loop technique because my needles here are too long if you're using shorter needles like maybe 16 inch to knit this little hat in the round then you don't have to do this make sure that your stitches are all facing in the same direction they're not twisted because we do not want a twisted stitch here to start so now we're going to divide our stitches in half and all I do is uh, we don't have to be precise you just uh, eyeball it here half and half on this needle and on this side here so I'm going to just go right here and I'm going to pull a loop here or pull the cable or you can just push your needle here and make sure that your working yarn here is on the back needle so we're going to line both needles like this we're going to bring our stitches make sure that you have 92 stitches these stitches that i have here are in multiples of four because once we start to reduce i'm going to divide it in four so here we have our stitches now we're going to start i'm going to pull the needle from the back make sure that the yarn is always in front of the needle here in the back so pull the needle from the back don't pull it all the way leave a loop here and we're going to start by knitting the first stitch so knit the first stitch now we're joined in the round knit the next stitch knit the next and so on here all we're going to do is just knit all around we're going to knit this little hat using the stockinette stitch where you just knit every single stitch for every single row like this so i'm going to continue like this until i finish the stitches on this needle Here's my last stitch, drop that needle, turn, and then push your cable. Pull the needle from the back, and do the same thing. Knit to the end of this row. Here's my last stitch and this is how I complete the first row. Now drop that needle, turn your work, push your cable, and if you want to put a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the row, you can. We're going to grab a needle from the back and for the second row we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the first row 
knit the first stitch, knit the next, and so on. That's all I'm going to do for the second row. I'm going to show you once again how to transition to the other needle using the magic loop technique. Now, if you're using shorter needles, you're just knitting this in the round. Here's my last stitch. I'm going to knit, drop that needle, and turn. Push your cable, pull the needle from the back, and knit these stitches here for this side. That's all I'm going to do to the end of this second row. So continue, and I'll meet you at the end this second row to show you what we need to do next okay so here's my last stitch for this second row i'm just going to knit that drop that needle and turn and then push my cable here grab the needle from the back a little bit and we're going to start the third row and we're going to do this up until we have a total of 56 rows. So I recommend that you put a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the row. And then we're going to do this, like I said, until we have a total of 56 rows. So all we're doing here is we're knit, we knit the first stitch and every single one of the stitches here for every row. Okay, so continue like this and I'll meet you back once we have these 56 rows to show you how we're going to start to reduce the top of the hat. So I'll meet you then. Okay, I finished making my 56 rows. This is what it looks like. It's measuring from top to bottom. It's about 6.25 inches, which is about 16 centimeters. Now we're going to start to reduce here the top of the hat. So we need four stitch markers. Okay, I have my stitch markers and now what we're going to do is we're going to place uh, stitch markers here. Like I said at the beginning, I have a total of 92 stitches and these stitches here need to be in multiples of four because we're going to now divide the uh, this part here into four sections. So we're going to count 23. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. Now I'll place the stitch marker and then again count 23. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. Put another stitch marker and then again count 23. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. Put a stitch marker here. And here we should be left with 23 stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 23. Perfect. So make sure that you add a stitch marker here also. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start to decrease, and our decreases are only going to be made every other row. So I'm going to start here. This, this is going to be the first row of decrease. Now, to begin, always what we're going to do is we are going to knit two together like this and now i'm going to knit these stitches up to the last three stitches before the stitch marker that's one including the one i already had that's two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and now we have the three stitches before the stitch marker. So here I have 19. Now we have the three stitches before the stitch marker. What we're going to do is these next two stitches, we're going to make an SSK. That means we're going to slip, slip, and then we're going to put them back into the needle here and we're going to knit them together through the back. So let me show you. So this is going to be SSK. So slip, knit wise, slip, knit wise the second stitch. Now put them back on your needle here on this needle like this and now we're going to knit two together through the back okay we want to make sure that this stitch here is slanting to the right now the stitch before the stitch marker we are always going to knit this is going to give us a nice clean decrease here so pass your stitch marker the next two stitches here we're going to knit two together like this through the front and now again we're going to knit up to the last three stitches before the stitch marker so let me show you again so I have one stitch here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 stitches. We have the three stitches before the stitch marker. These next two stitches, we're going to slip, slip, and then knit. So slip, knit wise, slip, knit wise, put them back on the left needle now we're going to go back in and knit two together so this is an SSK stitch now the stitch that's before the stitch marker we always knit past your stitch marker these next two stitches we're going to knit two together and then we're going to repeat the same thing so knit two together and now we're going to knit 19. That's two, including the one I had in the needles. Three, four, drop that needle, turn, pull the needle from the back and knit. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think I miscounted here. I had actually four already. So this would have been five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yes, I started with four here where I should have started with five. So now we have the three stitches before the stitch marker. These next two stitches, we're going to SSK. So slip, slip, knit wise, put them back on your left needle and knit through the back two together like this. So that's an SSK. Now the stitch before the stitch marker, we always knit past your stitch marker. And now knit two together. And now finish this last section and then I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this first row of reduction. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have my last three stitches. Remember that I have a stitch marker here. So don't forget to do the same thing here at the end. We're going to SSK. So slip, slip, put them back on your needle like this and then knit through the back loop these two stitches and now the stitch that follows knit one 
Now, we're at the end of the first row of reduction. At the end of this row, you should now have 84 stitches. Um, whenever we do this row of reduction, we're going to be decreasing by eight stitches. So that's two, four, six, eight. So make sure you have 84 stitches. Now for the second row here, all we're going to do is just knit all around. We're not going to decrease in this row. We're going to decrease, like I said, every other row. So in the third row is when we're going to de decrease. So here, all we're going to do is just knit all around. Continue, finish this second row, and I'll meet you again to show you the decrease row. Okay, I finished the second row. This is where I knit all around. Now for the third row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did on the first row of reduction where we reduce. Now at the end of this row that I just finished, the second row, I have 84 stitches just like I did for the first row. Now for the third row, this is what we're going to do. Remember, we start with knit two together here at the beginning. This is a row reduction. And now we're going to knit up to the last three stitches. So here I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now I have the last three stitches before the stitch marker. Remember, the next two stitches we're going to SSK. So slip, slip, and then return these stitches back to the left needle and then knit two together like that. Now the stitch that's right before the stitch marker, we always knit past your stitch marker. And then for this next section, we start with a knit two together and we're going to knit up to the last three stitches again. So there's one, seventeen. Three stitches before the stitch marker. These next two stitches we're going to SSK. So slip knitwise, slip knitwise, put it back on your left needle and then knit two together through the back loop. Now this stitch before the stitch marker, knit one past your stitch marker, and then repeat the same thing. Knit two together through the front like this. That's one, two, three, drop that needle. You may have more here depending how you divide it, your stitches. The important thing is that you do the same thing before and after the stitch marker. Pull the needle from the back. So I have three. Seventeen. Three stitches before the stitch marker. We are going to S, S, K. Slip, slip, knitwise. Put the two stitches back on your needle and knit two together through the back loop. Now knit one, pass your stitch marker, knit th two together through the front, and knit to the last three stitches. This is the last section. I'm going to show you this row completely. That way you can do the same thing from here on. Seventeen, three stitches before my last stitch marker. I think, oh, this one fell, but it should be right there. So, three stitches before the end of this third row. Here, we're going to SSK. So, slip, slip, knitwise. Put it back on your left needle and knit these two stitches together through the back loop. This next stitch here, you're going to knit. Don't forget to put your stitch marker here. And this is how we complete this third row where we have done a row reduction. 
Now, at the end of this third row, you should have a total of 76 stitches. Remember that at the end of every row, whenever we do the decreases, we decrease by eight stitches. So two, four, six, eight. Now, for the fourth row, we're going to knit all around. And then on the fifth row, you're going to make your decreases. So here to start you off, and you're going to continue on your own, you're just going to knit all of these stitches Remember, we do not decrease um, here in this row. We decrease every other row. So in the next row, you will decrease. And at the end of each row, when you do the, your decrease row, you're going to decrease by eight stitches. So here, this is all we're going to do. All we're doing is just knit all around for this row. Now, continue like this. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do eventually it's going to be uh, a couple of stitches in between each one of the stitch markers maybe three or four I'm not sure continue watching I'll let you know exactly how many um, stitches we're going to have left in between the stitch markers and then we're going to close the top of the hat and then continue with the other side so uh, continue watching. I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I did a total of 19 rows. My last row was row 19 where I did my last row of reduction. Now all around I have 12 stitches. So between the stitch markers, there's only three stitches here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close the hat. I'm not going to make any more reductions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my yarn here. Make sure you leave a nice little tail here. Not too long. I'm going to leave about that much. And then we're going to use one of these needles here and we're going to remove these stitches. We're going to, let's see, we're, I finished here. So I'm going to remove these three stitches. So we have 12 stitches left here at the end of the 19th row, which was a reduction row. Now pull the yarn through, hold on to this here, and pass your yarn. You can either go down like this or you can go like this on top. I'm going to go down through this loop. And this, this is going to create a knot there so that when we pull, it automatically creates a knot there. And that's what it looks like. Here's the top. Now, insert your needle through the center here. And from the inside, we are going to go around one more time just to be safe so that the top here doesn't open. Just go around. Make sure it looks good from the right side. So that looks pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through one of the stitches. I'm going to go through here. Let's see. Right there. Don't pull all the way. Go through like this. That creates a knot. And then go through one more stitch. And then again, that creates another little knot. And you can continue, make one more, but I think one, these two here are fine. I'm just going to hide this yarn here, cut my yarn. And this is the inside, and here's the outside. That's what it looks like. Perfect. Here's our little hat. If you want to leave your little hat like this, it's fine. It's all done. You can leave it. Although if you did this part here, it doesn't look too good. So now we're going to do the other hat and we're going to do it exactly in the same way. This is a reversible hat. So now what we're going to do here is remember here, we passed the yarn through this last loop. And I remember I said I'm going to make a knot here because this is where I'm going to start to remove my stitches. 
So I'm going to cut my yarn here, it's too long. I'm going to pass my yarn, or actually I'm going to try to undo this, this stitch that I did here, the, the knot. So, let's see, how did I do this? Right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to carefully remove these stitches and we're going to put them back into our needles. So I'm going to be using this one here. I'm going to pick up that stitch. That's the first stitch. And then if it's easier you can see the stitches here right under so you can insert your needle through there see right there and put it on your needle like that and then pull the blue yarn here and that releases the stitch now go through the next one right there. See how this stitch here is not knit wise. So my stitches, if I start knitting, once I pull them all, they're going to be on the wrong side. So if you haven't started, go like this. Yes, I think that'll work like this. So start from the top towards the bottom. So pull that and then go from the top to the bottom pick up your stitch like this make sure that you have 92 stitches if for some reason you end with less or more somewhere along this process here you have lost a stitch like this so next one You can also release the stitch and immediately insert your needle from the top down so that the stitch is slanting to the, in this case, slanting to the right. Yes, I think that'll work. So pull and immediately insert your needle, pull and insert the needle through the top. Make sure that you're doing this carefully so that you don't lose your stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and continue like this and do this off camera, but I just showed you what you need to do. So ignore the first three stitches where I went from the bottom up. You need to do the stitches from the top down like this see how the stitches are slanting that way which is what we want okay so continue let's do this part and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay i finished this part here where i put all of my stitches back on my needles now we're going to turn this like this and as you can see our stitches are now facing the correct way so i'm glad i figured that out before having to redo this part because it was a little bit tedious having to remove these stitches here. So now we're going to start and do exactly the same thing we did here for this little hat. We're going to do it here at this other end now. I'm going to divide my stitches here. You don't have to be precise. I'm using the magic loop technique to do this part here. So that's why I have to create a loop here. If you're using the shorter needles, the 16 inch, then all you have to do is just join the yarn, which is what I'm going to do here. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to join the new color. So I'm going to grab this end here and just hold it like this. And I'm going to grab a loop. Now let go of this because this here is the end and grab the one that's coming from the skein. 
let go of that stitch and then knit a couple more stitches. And before we continue with the rest of this row, now what we're going to do is tie this yarn with this end. And that way there's no gap here in between the stitches. And this is going to be on the inside of the hat anyway, so you won't be able to see it. I think that looks pretty good. Once we finish this row, we're going to take a look and make sure that there's no gap here in between the two colors. So we're going to double check that. So now I'm going to continue with the new color, just knitting each one of these stitches all around with the new color. So I'm going to do this just like I showed you when we started the first hat, just like this. I'm going to do this all around, so I'll come back and show you um, the first row, and then you're going to continue on your own for the rest. Okay, I'm almost done with this first row using the new color here. These are my last two stitches. Make sure that, I forgot to mention, make sure that you have 92 stitches. We're going to double check here, make sure that this part here looks nice. Um, as we continue, double check and make sure. I think that looks that's going to look pretty good. There's no gap there. I think I may need to tie it a little bit more, but I'm going to do a couple more rows and then I'll come back and tie that knot a bit more so that there's no gap. So now all we have to do is just continue and do a total of 56 rows where we just, actually I'm going to pull this needle, where we just knit all around um, to make this part here just like we did for the pink hat. So again, all you're going to do is just continue and knit all around for a total of 56 rows exactly in the same way. And then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to do the reductions. And then you're going to continue and finish the hat on your own because it's exactly in the same way as we did the pink hat. So continue like this, make 56 rows, and then I'll come back and show you the first row of reduction. Okay, I'm done making my 56 rows in this second color. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start the decreases. So, I've placed my stitch markers. This part here is exactly in the same way as I did this here. So, you can probably rewind the tutorial to this part and it's done exactly in the same way. I'm just going to show you a row or two here and then I'm going to do the rest on my own. Now, I've placed my stitch markers. I have 23 stitches in between the stitch markers and I have have four stitch markers so this is going to be the first row of decrease so to do this this is what we're going to do remember we start by knitting two together like this so knit two together right at the beginning and then I'm going to knit up to the last three stitches before the stitch marker so that's two including the one that I did here at the beginning Nineteen. Now I have my three stitches before the stitch marker, so these next two we're going to do an SSK. So we're going to slip, slip, and then we're going to put them back like this into the needle again to change the direction. And now we're going to knit to together through the back like that. That's an SSK. Now this stitch before the stitch marker we always knit pass your stitch marker and then again this next section we start with knit two together now i'm going to knit again up to the last three stitches so that's two Nineteen. Now we have the next three stitches. These two stitches here we're going to SSK. So slip, slip, and then 
put them back like this. Now knit two together through the back. And then this stitch before the stitch marker, knit. Pass your stitch marker, then knit two together, and then do the same thing I just showed you here. Continue like this to the end of this first row of reduction. At the end of this row, we're going to have uh, decreased by eight, so we're going to have 84 stitches. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished the first row reduction. At the end of that row, I have 84 stitches. Remember that we always reduce eight stitches at the end of the row reduction. Now for the second row, we're just going to knit all of these stitches all around. We're not going to work a reduction. We're just going to knit all of our stitches. And at the end of this second row reduction, I'm going to have 84 stitches as well. Now you're going to continue like this. Like I said, this part is exactly in the same way that I did this part. If you want to go back, just rewind the tutorial, go back to this section here and do it exactly in the same way. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue and do this part. I'm going to meet you back once we have um, 12 stitches left here um, in our needles so that we can go ahead and close the top of the hat. So I'll come back and show you that next. And remember, all you're doing is alternating between one one row reduction and then one row is just knit around. Okay, I finished making my last row here of decrease. I have a total of 12 stitches, so three stitches in between the stitch markers. Now I've cut my yarn because now what we're going to do is close the top of the hat. So here I have my needle, I pass my yarn through this needle, and we're going to remove our stitches. Here's my last stitch. I'm just going to go through here and remove these stitches. Okay, so here's the last stitch. Now hold on to this loop here, right here. Don't close it all the way because we're going to tie a knot here. So you can either go under or over. I think I'm going to go under here. Pull this here. Now we're going to go all around the top of the hat making sure to be very careful not to get any stitches caught here because we can't turn this over on the other side so we're going to have to just go all around the top here that's why i got this really pointy needle here because all i'm going to do is just go all around the top of the hat like this Be very careful if you're using a very pointy needle not to get the needle caught on the sides here of the hat. All we're making sure here is that the top of the hat here is nice and secure. Now I'm going to go through the center and make a little knot here. sure it's small there and then I'm going to insert the needle through the side here right through the center and I'm going to come out here at the end right there and that way the yarn stays there we can cut the yarn now and the top of the hat is closed. Now, this is a double-sided hat. Let me clean this area here so that I can show you. We have this side that we did first and then we did this side. So now what we need to do is we need to put the hat that we just finished on the inside. Look how beautiful that looks. Here's our hat. 
and that's what it looks like this is pink now if you want to wear it on the other side we have the other side it's a reversible hat absolutely beautiful comment below and let me know if you want me to do the adult version of this hat this is my knockoff uh, Carhartt hat it was inspired by a hat that my son got and that's what it looks like look how beautiful that looks I think I'm going to get some labels here some leather labels or something and put my logo here or something I don't know definitely not a pompon I don't think I will for this little hat so now let me get my little model so that I can show you what it looks like okay so here's my little model now her head circumference is for a um, newborn baby so it's about 13 inches which is about 33 centimeters so this would be uh, for like a newborn baby. So let's try it on her. Let's see how it looks. Okay, as you can see it's too big But if you use a slightly smaller knitting needles, maybe like two Millimeter knitting needles, you'll get um, a size big enough for a newborn baby if you want to make it for a newborn baby uh, And you can just fold the brim here. Now. Let's try it on my zero to three months baby doll this one here the head circumference for him it's about 14 inches which is about 35.5 centimeters so this would be for about a zero to three month baby and as you can see i think it's doable i mean you would have to fold the brim a little bit more uh it looks i'd say pretty good from the top here so let's try it on my three to six month baby doll now her head circumference is about 15 inches or about 38 centimeters which is for a baby between three and six months now let's try it on her see how it fits i think it it's perfect for her now i made it a little bit longer so that you can fold it i think that this hat here if you don't fold it and just wear it like this i think it would fit a baby up to 12 months without folding as you can see, it's got lots of room to grow. So I want to say that this hat here is for a baby between three and 12 months. That's what it looks like because there's plenty of room here for a six to nine months and a nine to 12 months head size. So you can do this little hat for a baby between three and 12 months. Now, if you make it for a three month baby, um, same thing you would have to probably fold it a, a little bit more but um that's what it looks like so i absolutely love love this little hat look how beautiful it looks here on the inside and it's reversible so you can use whatever yarn color that you have and the end result is going to be a reversible little hat that's what it looks like on the other side here's the top of the hat as well beautiful finish I love that okay so this was today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching make sure to check the information box I'll leave some information there on how you can make it for the for a newborn and comment below and let me know if you want me to make it for adults okay thanks for watching